What exactly does our flag represent? The colors in it all have a very different, very distinct meaning. They blare out like Gabriel's trumpet, the call of America. Every person should understand what their flag stands for because I am deeply convinced that a good country is made up of good citizens. I have been studying this since I was 12. So for approximately how years? <laughs> for the next few minutes, we're going to look at first the white stripes, then the blue field, and finally the red stripes. First, the white. The white stripes represent liberty. Collective freedoms that all men are created with. But also individual liberties that we have in this country. Liberties that we sometimes take for granted. For instance, we take for granted the fact that in this country we are free to worship the God of our choice. If you want to worship Satan, you can do that. In this country, if a man chooses to be a Baptist, Catholic, Buddhist, Muslim, <coughs> Jewish, Mormon, <coughs> and even, heaven forbid, a Methodist, <laughs> he can do that too. <laughs> Next, the blue. The blue in our flag represents pride. Pride in our country, pride in our way of life, and pride in our leaders, if we had any. <laughs> but more importantly, pride in our Constitution and in our Republic. Americans are a very proud people, but Southerners in particular so. And for some reason, especially Texans. <laughs> This was evident 150 years ago in 1861. The South was so proud in their respective states and in their way of life that they nearly destroyed this, this country. The pride and bullheadedness of the Southern people was just one cause of the bloodiest war in the United States history. According to CivilWar.org, it was a war in which approximately 620,000 Americans died. Which makes a fairly decent segue to the Red Stripes. Now the Red. Does it represent Britain as George Washington said it did? Or does it have a deeper, more spiritual meaning? After intense study, I believe the red stripes on our nation's flag represent the blood that has been shed for this Jesus. nation. It is a tribute to all the men and women that have been shipped overseas in the name of freedom. All the young men that went to and died in Germany, Japan, the Philippines, Normandy, Iwo Jima, the young men that went and didn't return from France in World War I. The boys that died in Korea. The men that were lost in the jungles of Vietnam. According to Information Please database by Pearson, some 426,000 <coughs> service members were killed in action from World War I through the end of Vietnam. In the name of freedom, these people perished. They gave their lives so that you and I might enjoy our freedom and liberty. They gave the ultimate sacrifice. They died in defense of the greatest nation this world has ever seen. They died in defense of our flag. In essence, their flag. And that flag still waves proudly over this nation. It still waves because of the courage, pride, and dedication of these brave young soldiers. Although our flag means a lot to us, however, it is not freedom. 
This country is not freedom, though they are symbols of it to the world. That freedom that we so take advantage of. And it hurts deeply to see her burned and spat upon. When so many boys, young men, the prime of our country, laid down their lives. This flag is the symbol of our heritage and the pride of our nation. We should be very grateful that the soldiers of the past were there to do what they did. Alan Pusey of the ABA Journal says that about wrong but this flag is the symbol of our heritage and the pride of our nation we should be very grateful that the soldiers of the past were there to do what they did Alan Pusey of the ABA Journal says that about 30,000 men dodged the draft during Vietnam what would have happened if the draftees of World War II had burned their draft notices and went to Canada? You'd be listening to this speech in either German or Japanese. We should be thankful that the men went to the jungles of Vietnam, that those boys went to the mountains of Korea, that those brave lads went to the beaches of Normandy. All 450,000 soldiers that have fallen since World War I. These past few minutes, we have looked at the representations of the colors of our flag. First we studied the white stripes, then we studied the blue field, and finally the red stripes. And let us never forget the sacrifice of the American soldier, for they all answer the call of America. 